And we're echoing. And we're back after a hey. uh, week off, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe... Has it been a week off yet? Two shows. Um, I was not going to do this show, um, but <laughs> I did get enough sleep yeah. after the vacation. But anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Um, I'm James, and this is Erlen. You can see our names above our heads. Right above us. Oh, it's floating. I'm trying to catch them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we on this show, we play new games on classic consoles, specifically for now, the Atari 2600. And welcome to everyone in the chat on yeah. Twitch live. We have some new, like some old friends that are yeah. here, Mr. Fix and Wade Rain and a Tasty Sandwich. John and... Von Newman. Hey. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning and in. Zybot, Zybot just Zybot. jumped in at the last second Amazing. to get his name Popped on. Popped in. Yes. Um, we're going to be playing one game today. Yes. Because it's an RPG, and I know we have to dedicate time to RPGs. That's and right. And you can't be messing around with like six games in one day and then tag an rpg at the end and go no nah, we ran out of time yeah um and this one is dungeon 2 which i recently and it's picked an actual up. console sorry uh is it what do we call this not a console it's a, a, a cartridge, cartridge that yeah, it started so. with a c I it <laughs> it's up. one of those words. i gave it a go um yeah it's it's retail boxed copy bought it at portland retro gaming expo two weeks ago Two weeks ago. Yeah, last two weeks show ago. that I was on, last I played show. Dungeon One and dominated it. It was so Destroyed much fun. It. I, my favorite games are RPGs, so to yeah. play an RPG period is awesome, and to play an RPG that's like on the twenty six hundred, I was skeptical. I was like, are they going to be able to pull it off? How big can this be? How exciting can this be? Yeah. But the reality is, is that Dungeons and Dragons, all you need is a friggin' <laughs> piece of paper and, and, a, and a dice and a or dice, two dice or a and that's all you need so or... of course an rpg is gonna gonna translate in yeah. some ways i think it translates almost better on the 2600 because you don't get bogged down with like yeah. my guy has this big sword and yeah. now he's got a this and let's find the that like it's it just, just breaks it down to the most simplistic parts of it the fun part you, you know you're going through dungeons you're trying to find things it was like final love... fantasy kind of turn-based style stuff with sort of like a diablo type you know go deeper <laughs> into the dungeon That's to right. fight the dragon kind of stuff i'm super down so yeah yeah and this is this i've been looking forward to this all week yeah so this is the sequel to the one we played the other one was dungeon this is dungeon yeah. 2 solstice made by david a weevil and uh yeah it was a lot of fun last time and i i we'll be able to beat this again i'm well, sure well, we, we're we, confident we'll, we'll see yes now that being said when you say we'll see <laughs> yeah it's, it's because you don't you know arrogance is often smited good. by uh oh. you know, just life i'm trying to work the universe in the... <laughs> definitely gets so, back at you if you get too much arrogance yeah, on pride your side. is also not a good look so we'll give it a go <laughs> um there's a good chance we'll beat it um if we don't beat it um we'll see We'll figure. We'll, we'll beat it we'll, later. Yeah, we'll beat it later. This game is being beaten. <laughs> it will um, be and one I way. played it last time, so this time James will play, and I'll yeah. be the sort of support. Yeah, um, I'd be the the map maker, the this the cartographer. It's like, oh, you should try this, try this, because when you're in the game, you you don't always think of everything that you're doing because you're so like concentrating on you what's happening on the screen. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank all the uh, Twitch subscribers that help support the show. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice, Boast to Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, who's in the chat. Hello, Mr. Fix. Hey, dude. Uh, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support us, too, by doing Twitch Prime, which is part of Amazon Prime. You can go figure that out. Click subscribe. Uh, help us uh, help support the show. And thanks awesome. for hanging out every week with us. Anybody yeah. who just comes and like lurks or even just yeah. like just type has something on in the, the background. Comment. And always always just shoot us a little line on the comment. Well, it's always fun when we when we hear what you guys are thinking. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just two dudes in a room playing <laughs> games, which yeah. is like fun and it's good for us. But it's it, it, we want to share the fun. Yeah, it becomes and share the full these thing. games and show them off to you and say, hey, do you like this game? Maybe you want to give it a shot. Download it. Buy it. Or just watch us and, and yeah, just have fun with us. Do it. Um, so I was away for a week um, and I was in uh, Mexico, in Guadalajara right. specifically. I and most people, to. when, hey, I supposed to welcome. Uh, most people don't go to Mexico City or Guadalajara, which are the two biggest yeah. cities in Mexico. They go on the coasts, they go to the yeah. beach. And they, they just get drunk, <laughs> yes. and people serve them, and then they leave. Like it's yeah, upper you, class thing. Yeah, you don't you don't really see actual Mexico. Yeah, but I went for another purpose. I was it was half vacation, 
an and half business um, because uh, my oh, good business. Yeah, my film was nominated and f in a film festival in Guadalajara, and and I won. That's right for best documentary. So that is a really big accomplishment. It's the first best documentary award that we've got. We got another award and been in a bunch of other film festivals, but this was the big one. You know, it helps so much those little does. things. It's really hard because if you spend all this time making a movie and then yeah, um, is it good? I don't know. You know, and mm. it's just useful because yeah, next time you go to try to make another movie, that makes it easier to make the next film. And I think it that's where it's you the have biggest more confidence deal. in yourself. And you're like, people may not hate this movie. <laughs> that's right. And on paper, you just look good. If you go to someone yeah, who, like a financer true. and go, hey, I made a film that won this. All of a sudden, it's a different conversation yeah. than Pe I'm another guy that made a film. <laughs> yeah. People like it. They want to show the film in festivals. So if people investing in future projects of yours, they may be a little bit more confident to give you some money. Yeah. And then you can make a bigger film. And I'm lucky I got to work on the film. It was yes. A lot, it was a lot yeah, he had a big hand in it. And the um, the programmer said it looked awesome. Oh, that's good. And I told him it was all filmed on a Canon 7D, and he was like, oh, okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I worked as a colorist, which yes. is like, the best way to describe it is it's like Photoshop for movies, where yeah. you change the colors balance and the how bright certain colors are and how yeah. dark it is. and Make it all seem cohesive as a film, as if you and pictured it like everything was yeah. under control but as a documentary that's even harder oh it was it was so much fun yeah. though i had yeah. like um, uh -huh. it was it was like, a big hand in making everything happen yeah making it look good on the screen and it really didn't it was a massive screen oh my god <laughs> it was the biggest screen i've ever seen my film played on and just a big screen in general it's a 500 seat theater which is a a really big that's theater. a massive theater yeah. yeah anyway that's all that's where i was that's, and i was cat that's... sitting here with yes. pixel and atari so was... he kept pixel and atari happy and you know kept them safe from whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever happened from themselves i don't know yeah and you have an alarm system that i couldn't figure out how to turn off the first time oh, i come no. in it's like wee -wee 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 -wee. and i was like what oh, do i do God. do i just wait for the cops to come and arrest and you and then eventually i held down the button i was like oh you mean you just don't tap it you hold it down yeah. and i was like so that was my first night <laughs> <laughs> yeah scaring the cats thankfully it was better after that so hey so. pixel oh he's busy with the yeah, thing James's the cat's going but thank you splendid dot and zybot yes it was really nice and we did a q a and accepted the award and my film partner has the award so i can't show it show, off here but, but i'll i'll show it off next episode or something if i have it <laughs> so yeah you know james yeah. is uh, multi that's, that's my day job guy, man. Yeah. yeah he does a lot of things yeah uh, it's fun to do various things um so uh some news um champ games uh, the maker mm -hmm. of Mappy, Wizard of War, a yeah. whole bunch of other games. Great games. He just announced the, his new game that he's working on Yeah. Um, today, or let's see, no, a couple days ago. Um, he just put out a screenshot of it, and it is called Zookeeper. Oh. And it's not a well-known game. Um, it was never ported to any console. Really? So this will be the first console that this game, this arcade game, has ever been put on. Uh, so I'm going to show you a video of it. Yeah, let's check it And you see out. what uh, he's in store for in how ambitious this game is. Um, it's it's going to be pretty pretty difficult to pull off but if anybody can do it yeah, he yeah. can well, i mean mappy is an accomplishment like, yeah holy cow just seeing what he did on mappy you're like okay i think he can do this yeah, yeah and this one this one's crazier with what's going on on screen well i think that's one of the cool things about these um homebrew games is when they kind of port older things that you never ever would have seen on the 2600 but also yeah. existed yeah it seems like it's neat i like playing the original games that's always fun but there's something cool about like going into a deep cut like past <laughs> yeah you know, something that Way like back, yeah. somebody out there would have dreamed to play at home when they were like oh yeah and, whatever and age kinda, you are these, these things are kind of fulfilling these dreams of you know the programmers or even the people that are playing it's like oh yes finally we get to play it on an atari and especially something like this which you you yeah. would have probably there's no way so let's take a look at it i'm going to just switch over to the screen for everybody there so this is uh i just jumped into the middle of it so this is like demoing before it actually starts the game nope stay away so zookeeper 
1983. So how long can you hold the animals in? Oh, that's Capture a cool bonus. One. So there's a whole bunch of different animals. Lots of graphics to work on. There's your little dude. He looks well, so like a, kind of a like, painter. They're trying to get out. Yeah, they're trying to escape the zoo. It looks like they're bashing their heads into the walls. You can jump over them, get little bonus beers. Wow. <laughs> and and then you get a power-up that is like um, putting the bricks back in place. And it looks like a timer going to across yeah. the top of the screen till you're done the level. So it's more of like a survival, survive as long as you can kind of game. Looks like, And there's bricks in the bricks. They do get out. But there's only a snake around the end there. He's almost done the levels. Oh, at the end, the last thing you get is a little trowel. That's what it, That's the word I'm looking for. That makes to sense. To repair it. Uh, oh, and you get a bunch of bonus for all the things that are in. Oh, oh bonus level. Okay. Oh, and this is some classic. This, this mm -hmm. feels very much like um, uh, little Donkey kong -y, but obviously yep. not uh, the Just exact same. Just of that same. era. And that, Getting that's, up to the top. Yeah, avoiding with, the barrels, but this one's coconuts. Getting the princess, yep. You know, Let's and this character this is suspiciously like someone we've recognized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perhaps a plumber, you know. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and it starts off with no walls. Oh, for the oh. higher levels. So you're looks, trying to... looks very challenging. Yep. Oh, and then you did... That's what the you power up? You smack them in. Oh, uh, okay. And if you keep them in the cage, I see. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, but there's a lot going on. In this, like, just... Think of this on Atari 2600. There's a lot going on in the screen. Like just the graphics of the bricks. And then layer on top of that all the animals. But, you know, the hard part of the Atari 2600 is two things on one line. Yeah. So if all those animals start going on one line, you have to, you know, have your time divided between them. But if they're all on different lines, which most of the time they are, it's not going to be a problem. Just like Mappy, he had like five or six um cats on the same line and it looked just great absolutely so i think using his flicker engine he's going to be able to totally make that work um so that's that is the game that is in the works and i don't think he would announce it if he wasn't he, sure that yes that's what's going to happen N zybot it could be a flicker fast oh it's the net that's what we... Oh, the net. That makes more sense. Oh, because it looked kind of like a trowel because there's bricks and he's building bricks. I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah. Um, mean, Williams. He says Williams, Williams made this in Defender. Yeah, Williams made a lot of our um, pinball games. And so Williams is a like, big um, manufacturer of arcade games. Cool. Um, but yeah, Zybot, if you looked at it, look at his mappy that uh, Champ Games made and look how not a flicker fest that mm. is. I think he will have the confidence that I do that he's going to make a great version of it. Yeah, man, I feel like if anyone can do it, it's him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's take a look at some other news. So uh, also Champ Games released a Wizard of War demo so everyone can play it now, not just me. <laughs> <laughs> or people that went to uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, Wade Rain actually played that in the arcades. Yeah. I've never even heard of it before. I did talk with him about Zookeeper before or something I yeah I remember looking and looking it up but anyway yeah I've never seen it in the arcades and it wasn't at Portland Retro Gaming Expo either but anyway they released uh, Champ Games released demo of Wizard of War so everyone can play it now um, we may take a look at it on Friday I don't know if the demo supports the multi port but I'll I'll check it out and also an aardvark demo was oh. released finally for the public um, it was, it looks closer to the one I saw at Portland Aardvark's Retro Gaming Expo. Aardvark's a fun Expo. game. I remember having, at first yeah. I was screwed. <laughs> well, and it's, it's a very difficult game. But yeah, then as I played it more, I was like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit challenging at first because it's like, what is happening? And there's all these things coming at you. Um, but the, the demo version looks really nice. A lot of upgrades. I think it's really close to the one I saw at Portland because that was upgraded. And the cat's. Pixels, Pixels, literally trying to mix the show now. Yeah. And, uh, and a cat has never been known to be a good DJ. It's no. it's not a. They're good at scratching, but not the greatest DJs. Yeah, not oh. not that kind of scratching. That's good. <laughs> uh, um, so you can go download both of those, the Wizard of War and the Aardvark demo, and we're gonna check out. Just do a little minor updates on Friday, I think. Oh, made by Taito. 
Okay, sounds like they're Williams games. And also there's been a lot of progress made on Chaotic Grill. Do you remember that one? Is the Burger Time may or may not have Hold played on. it. It's a bunch of burgers that you drop down and there's Oh, I didn't take that one. Oh, it might have been Darcy. Um, that sounds cool. I mean, yep. I'm always down for some more burgers. So, <laughs> so a lot of progress has been made on that game, but it is a flicker Darcy fest. Darcy was the one, Darcy Splendid Nut. Oh, good memory. Dude, people are on it. <laughs> um, I'm not going to put it on the show yet because he hasn't implemented flicker management. Yeah. So it's really f- uh, Atari crazy Age has a, has a good question. What is that schematic? Oh, welcome, Atari Age. Well... It is an Atari 2600, in fact. Um, oh, how... That is the schematic. How apropos. It is. <laughs> well, of course, I would wear this on the show to show it off. Yeah, it says Atari 2600. I'm sure it's not the um, full schematic. It's only part yeah. of it. Um, these look like um, a chip there and a chip there. One might be the uh, 6507. One might be the TIA. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's the controller ports, port one oh, and port cool. two. Um, I'm sure there's video out uh, somewhere, the RF out and power, but none of this is labeled, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very difficult. Well, it is a t-shirt. It's more. And I'm not way. a hardware guy, so I can only figure out some of these. Like if it's at six five zero seven there, or yeah, six five zero two, then I'd be able to figure it out. Oh, flicker management is fifty to seventy five percent done. Pretty good. Excellent, splendid nut. Oh. He's a programmer. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing that on the show when it's a little bit closer to done. But the gameplay is really close. It's really close. Very, very, very playable right now. So I just want to have a good one, to, a good visually visually good to show it on the show. So it's not like it is crazy. Because um, I think some of the characters are only like on screen one third of the time yeah. or one fourth of the time. So it's quite flickery. Yeah. Oh, I suppose so. I'm glad Chaotic Grill is moving forward. There's no way to do it justice except in assembly. Yeah. I, Chaotic Grill is really, really good uh, port of Burger Time. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to it because he's done some really creative things with the burger pieces. They're all done in Playfield and they look really, really nice for that. And I never expected them to be done in, in Playfield. Um, and also Ice Bosta, speaking of Ice Bosta, um, pointed out a very handy web page recently. Uh, I think it was in the chat somewhere. Um, an Atari VCS emulator in a browser that also, you're also able to play homebrew games wow. right in the browser and load them up. Um, so it's a good place to test games it even includes you're able to play D- dpc plus games so even the most advanced homebrew you're able to load into this browser um and play play your games on the go that's like, amazing even on a um like a tablet or a phone you're able to play the games so that's it's crazy. super super handy and it's at 6502ts.github.io. But you can just search for uh, Stellarator. Stellarator. Um, and there's a... Oh, that's where I got it from. It's in... I think he private messaged me. And it, he also posted about it in the forums. Or somebody posted about it. So now we're going to get to Atari Age's release. Speaking of Atari Age, Ooh. welcome... Uh, release of Dungeon 2 Solstice, retail copy in the box, and this just went on sale on their store on November 4th, so I'm guessing everybody that got in early would probably have this in their hands by now. I picked it up at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, Expo, so I got it early because that's where it debuted. So let's take a look at what goodies are inside. Okay, this the is box. Exciting. This is good. There we go. Oh, I didn't even damage it. And oh, they've got little characters on the, on the top there. Let's. I'm hiding my face. I know yeah. the drill. So there is the gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Oh, trying to get it centered. There we go. Beautiful cover. And there's the back of the box. Yeah, winter solstice. And I just opened the top. Let's see if you can get those little characters. Yep. There's some characters there. Very nice. 
Let's see what goodies we have in here as we crack this open for the first time. Of course, we have the cartridge, which is... Thankfully, has... it would be a... <laughs> You'd be like, no, my cartridge, no! Uh, which has the same uh, beautiful cover art that is on the front of the box. Hold that yeah, for a second. Is, looks Which is done by Dave Dries? Dries? Dave Dries. Yeah, yeah. Dries. Dries, I would say, yeah. Dritz, oh. if you ask me. Driss? <laughs> no. This is a famous uh, character named Dritz. Oh, uh, Dritz. Um, in uh, in uh, Baldur's Gate. He's oh, like a legendary okay. character that you can face off. And so since we're dungeon themed. That makes Dritzt. sense. So it's got a beautiful poster again of the cover art. Dungeon 2 Solstice. There we go. Very nice. It's always nice when there's these goodies, these bonuses. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when there's such beautiful art and you get a big poster. It's a poster great cover, too. I like that it's just sort of blue and orange. Oh, it's like got it's the classic smart, blue-orange right? uh, colors. Which just oppose each other and just yeah. look cool. And also it's Solstice, right? So it's like, uh, yeah. it's moody and there's fire and like we got a torch and yeah. It's yeah, cool. we're not quite to the Winter Solstice yet. So it got released a little bit early, but you can oh, play it on the Winter Solstice just right. in time. I think that's December 21st. Is that right? That sounds about right. Yeah. So there's Winter Solstice, the shortest day of the year. It's uh, kind of nice because after that they start getting longer again. Uh, the symbolic death and rebirth of nature. This year, however, something sinister has occurred. The Crow, a mysterious race Ooh. of half-man, half-bird necromancers. <laughs> it's put it down until December 21st. Yep, yep. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we, no we got, show. No show, uh, cancelled. <laughs> we should just talk about... Uh... <laughs> yeah, talk about my vacation some more. <laughs> so what else did you do in Mexico, Jason? Well, I did some filming and... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Half-bird necromancer has stolen the sacred bow of mistletoe from the ancient stone triangle. Hold on. So we got to get the mistletoe back. Yeah. Uh, it is the just wants to make out with someone. That's right. It's the I, only you way. You can't do it without it's the, the mistletoe. Way. It's the excuse for ugly guys everywhere. <laughs> That's right. Look, you have to do it. They just Come carry, on. They carry it around in a satchel <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. Uh, it is the mystic key to keeping nature in balance. Without it, there will be no new dawn, and the world will remain in darkness. Ooh, Thus, stakes are much higher than just oh, making yeah. out. <laughs> this, this mistletoe key, key has the key it's to the, the key. world. Yeah. Uh, thus, amplifying the power of the crow. There we go. Well, Dude, I think the crow, the crow is like a mage, based off of this, like, uh... Well, it's got a crystal ball on the cover, and it's got this magic wand. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, there's three adventurers going in. Atari said oh. I should have included mistletoe with the game. Oh, a little plastic mistletoe. That would, that's okay. Damn. Next version. That's version right. 2. Special edition. <laughs> Dude, does this mean Atari made it? Oh, Atari no. Age is the, uh, the... distributor. Wow. That's, that's Al from Atari Age. Hey, Welcome, dude. Al. Yeah. So he's the guy who put, like, assembles the boxes. Oh, and, that um, makes sense. And, and you know, does sells it and ships it. Yep, runs the forums. Wow. Yep. He's, uh, he, I interviewed him at Portland Dude. Retro Gaming Expo, and I'll probably... You're the reason why I'm here, Al. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without these games, you know, no show. That's right? right. Yeah, he's the guy who makes it all happen. He's in the a, hub of the games. In a butterfly games. effect world without Al. That's who true. knows where we'd be? That is very true. Who Everybody knows? is a part of that's, all this That's right. It's the glue sphere. that keeps it all together. Yeah. Uh... I was going to say something cool, but oh, it's gone. It. That's okay. <laughs> um, objects. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to be putting out my interview with Al oh, there we go. on Friday. I'll be finishing it off tomorrow. So watch for that. He's been working. Yeah. yeah. To I've been away winning awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, objects. Oh, let's pop this in and discover as we go yeah and i can i can back, be the backup yeah uh cartographer let's take this up situation. the harmony this is a nice um uh this is a like a nice program it feels thick and full oh which is yeah because i mean beautiful quality uh, oh, uh, Dude, always rolls, goblins this is gonna be good so let me switch over to the game here oh come on game a Atari oh, box. A or not. Dude, you gotta pick between um oh, uh there we go. Oh, not quite. Almost, almost, almost. There we go. Holy cow. Okay, so we you got some choices, man. Oh, of character selection. As described above, you get a wizard, a fairy, or a warrior. 
Oh, oh. War is incapable of doing magic, but has the highest health. Nathan Strum says, pronouncing David Dree's last name. I've known him online for 20 years and I have no idea. <laughs> Suppose I should ask him one day. Yeah. That's, yeah, exactly. I was just going to say that, Al. Um, He's Dave when Drist you never to me. Dave Driss. The Drist. Drist. I still can't pronounce that version. I've well, seen it spelled. When but... you never meet somebody in real life and you only see their... That's the unfortunate part of doing a video show and like you hear the audio. We yeah. have to pronounce people's names. Try, like, oh my god, I was just butchering Thomas Yench's name for the longest time. Yeah. And now, and, but then he messaged me and, like, sp like phonetically Broke spelled it, it out for me now. And now I know how to say his name. So we are at, oh, we are actually playing. Let me see. Let's reset it. There we go. Okay, as described, hitting the game select switch allows you to change which character you play. Oh, okay. There we go. So you can be a fa oh, so let, just fairy. so you know. Yeah. The fairy is immune to magic draining attacks, Which uh, is but good. it has the least health and the most spells. A wizard. Uh, yeah. Is vulnerable to magic draining attacks and yeah. it has uh, spells and like a little bit of health. Yeah, the max health is 14. Warrior is one more health, oh. which is not a big bonus. And then you get no and incapable of doing magic. Well, wizard's uh, the obvious choice. Uh, yeah, thing. I'd recommend a wizard. Because then we feels... get to play with magic, too. Yeah, I think for this game through, it would be good. To... Yeah, so there's the different characters. Oh, and it shows it on the screen. Fairy, uh, warrior. So the warrior is 15 hit points and no magic. I'm sure that over time that exaggerates, though. E right? Because it's like, as you probably. level up, probably you might gain know. like way more. Like you may gain like... Some games, warriors just never... You're not allowed to touch magic. Oh, right? he, this in this case it is. But I mean, I wonder if the yeah. health difference will be oh. massive by the end. It'll probably even out. But uh, um, So we're going to do wizard. Yeah, this looks cool. And that looks like the... You know that mask that, um, that you know, like in the 1500s when people were sick and they wore this this pointy mask? Oh, that's those right. Those creepy pictures. That's what it looks like, but maybe I'm just seeing it, seeing it differently. Okay, so that's good. So Ed Fries is pronounced... Freeze. Is Ed Freeze. Yes. Oh, who's, I, I learned this the hard way when I pronounced it as Freeze fries when talking to him in person but i mean oh that's God, how it's yeah. spelt though yeah so i, so like, I i'm with you al i would yeah. screw that up i'd embarrass too, myself man. too yeah he can't see screen oh. well there we go sorry there you go bam so let's thanks, i'll thanks. show you the three looking characters here there you Is go there's a fairy there's the fairy there's the warrior and there's, there's the, the wizard. wizard which are, we are going to take on and it's got the little two in the bottom for dungeon two so we have, uh, your goal is to penetrate the Tower of the Crow, retrieve the Filthy. sacred mistletoe, yep. and return it to the Grove of Megaliths. Okay, so we have to get to the tower, get the mistletoe, get, get out. back to the Grove. This kind of looks like the it Grove. It looks like the Grove. That, that's a Grove-like. Yep. Um, and I want to say that this, the first game, was made in thirty with 32K. Um, and this one is only made in 4K. Oh. So this one is an eighth of the size wow. of the other game. Okay. And it's already like super impressive with the graphics and you have three different characters to play. And he did this one in 100% assembly. The other one was in Batari Basic. So it's kind of like he's got right down to the roots in this one and he's squeezed out all the everything that he could get, get out of it. And a lot of people challenge themselves in making these games like they did back in the 70s. It's like, nope, you only get 4K, no help, pure assembly, Yep. nothing on board the cartridge to help you out, make what you could have made back in the late uh, late 70s, early 80s. So it's it's this is going to be interesting to see what he's able to get. I got I got so much information, but okay. I'll give it to you as we go. Okay, so let's, let's jump into it. And I, I think so it much. plays similar to the last one. Let's find out. Let's... So let's move there. around, and it's the same. You got a, f was it did was it the same where you had a f you're surrounded by? No, this is a bit new because yeah. we we had to play or hang out in like a, in that. So this looks like we're in a there forest. We go. Okay. So what is this that we're fighting here? This is uh. Is there a list of enemies? I suspect this is a wolf. Does that look like a wolf to you? That looks like a. Uh, looks like a praying mantis to me this, with the big bug eyes. We, but we uh, have a. Oh, hey, oh hello. Dinner show was a bit rushed, so I couldn't have dinner. So you're gonna have to put up with me uh, eating a little bit here. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 
So we got fight, cast, run. So that's pretty normal. That's right. And then we have a few different things, just so you know, when it yeah. comes to fight, the odds of landing the blow vary slightly by class. Uh, so I'm going to have less chance, right? That's right. So your damage is two to five points per hit as a wizard and fairy. Yeah. And if you were a warrior, it'd be three to six points per hit. Uh, see, I always choose a warrior Dude, when I play games. I always pick a wizard. Uh, I'm always a wizard. But I thought for the more most variety, Makes I sense, think wizard would be better to show off the game. I think so, too. So, and, and you can throw a fireball, for three which to is six. three to six points, and it's an automatic hit. Oh, wow. But it costs two spell points. That's right. And it, But you, do you get back spell points? Because in the other game, you never got them back, and you'd be drained of it completely. Well, we'll have to find out. See. Okay, let's do a cast then. And it always hit, and he's dead. And I'm down Damn. two. Yeah. Ten to eight. So it's not. So you might want to save. Up. You might want to do a fight. Just do it. Yeah. Hit. Well, I hit him. Oh, and it killed him. Done. Okay. So These I'm, are... I'm just going to fight from now on yeah, to see if the spell points come characters. up. Oh, no. Nope. Missed. Hit. And he got one of my hit points. So not too bad. Oh, so you're kind of. This is a bit of a maze, is what this is. Yeah. Hit. Okay. Oh I suppose God. it says I'm hoping James will interview me. Oh yeah, I'll get to you. I suppose so. You got want... a lot. You got a lot to say. You worked on a lot of games. I so. want to see that interview. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to see that. We're fighting a fairy. I thought they were. Us. Oh, there are fairies. Hold on. I Hold on. Were good a, this is a dark fairy. Man. Oh, this is, dark fairy. It's a nat nature spirits under the sway of the crow. So that's sad. It's an actual fairy. That's oh, been that's been corrupted. So you're just gonna murder a fairy. It's not mm. his fault. Okay, whatever. The crow used them as spies and thieves. Mm. They are the ones who stole the mistletoe for the crow. So they're like, eh, they're not great. The crow have also taught them uh, uh, their uh, magic drain combat techniques. Beware. If you mm. get hit by one after retrieving the mistletoe, she will steal it from you and teleport it back to the temple oh of the God. crow. Wonderful. So that's going to be, that's in there. It's going to be a challenge. That's where being a fairy makes sense, right? Because the, oh, not being you're a, immune to it. Yeah, but you can get like messed up. Okay, well, I'm going to fight. Oh, good. Oh, I'm dead. But I don't have the mistletoe. She, she can't steal it. Now, how do I get back spell points? Do I have to find... Chests, likely. Chest we'll still? see. We'll see what, what happens. So far, we haven't seen anything like that. We've just been fighting. Um, I'm guessing all these guys are random that I'm fighting. Yeah, you have to like see if you can sort of get oriented a little bit. So, interestingly, you're losing health. I've been hit. I've been hit a bunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I haven't been randomly losing health. Okay, thank God. Very colorful. Like the trees, really nice um, shading on the trees. I guess that's a wolf. It doesn't really yeah, look like so anything. Yeah, the wolf is common in the forest. And yeah, that's definitely a pet a wolf. And guards. It has three health. Okay. Oh, so the but the dark fairies has two hit points. Mm. And the owl is a guaranteed hit, and it does two damage. So if you oh, get the we don't owl, have an owl yet, so. but when you find the owl, you can always kill the fairies with it. Oh, so always use the owl. Yeah, because look at this. The owl says, um, uh, if you have the owl, uh, you may use him to attack your opponent. He's just two damage, and he's automatic hit. Nice. So that's, oh, that's, that's, that's going to be a technique. Oh, we found the tower. And I'm believe. going to die. Oh, oh, pressing the button gives you more hit points, but takes takes a spell away. Oh, that's nice because oh, rather than having like the the cast spell to heal, so you exchange. Okay. And give yourself another two just in case, personally. Because mm. then you can cast one spell. Yeah. Okay. I can't go in the. I can't go in the tower. Oh God. Do we need a key? That, that, that might be a sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. The top portion of the screen displays your current surroundings. The layout uh -huh. of the world is the same every game, but the location of certain things within the world may be random. The center areas of the screen display your current inventory or text. Um, no inventory. Uh, uh, hit points are your health. Yeah. If it goes to zero, you die, and the game is over. Spell points are required for spell casting. If you die or win the game, you may start a new game by hitting the fire. Whenever you start one, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I'm guessing I have to find a key. Yeah, that makes sense. That seems about right. That's a dead end. Enemies seem random. Yeah, they are, I believe. So I'm just going to... Oh, okay. Whoa. I'm in a dungeon. Good. So that's something. I'm guessing I have to go in the dungeon. 
Oh, do I have to bring back the that's right mistletoe to the tower? Correct. Okay, so we know where the tower is. And now we, we know find where the, the dungeon is. Good. I'm really. Ooh. There's a goblin right here. So goblins have three health. Okay, so not too bad. And have a potential to miss. Got him. So yeah, that's where um the warrior yeah. would have an advantage because oh, no. the warrior always does three die. damage. I need health. Oh. That is a battle. Oh, it's not the Which elf. is uh, Masters of the Dark. They seldom leave their well-guarded temples. They have mastered combat methods that do damage and drain magic from their opponents. Wow. Huh. So they do four to six points per hit as well as one spell damage drained. So these guys are... These are the toughest and they're four health. So I would nope. use a fire. That was an owl. That <laughs> oh, was an owl? I just picked him up. You got an owl? Oh, good. Okay, because I need it. So yeah. So if, you, if we find a crow... Now, the thing is, is that always use the owl on the dark fairies, but yeah. always fight the other two. Oh, okay. Because, like... It's not going to kill them. It can't. It only does two damage, and they have three health. So, you're wise to... Okay. So, just save the crow. I need health so badly. I'm going to die. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. Just luckily... Oh. Uh-oh. One hit point left. And... Uh. That's okay. That's okay. I'm dead. We'll go back. Okay. So now I need to find. Nope. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to run, but it worked. <laughs> I need to go straight to the dungeon, not mess about by getting hurt. There we go. I know Bam. where it is. It's to the left and up. Okay, good. So I'm not messing around with losing health. And I can just start getting power ups, hopefully. Yeah, dungeon. I'm wondering if you level up in this one. You must. Well, it has very absolute hit points. Well, yeah. And damage. So those guys don't level up. So maybe I don't level up yeah, either. Yeah, maybe it's just a... Uh, Straight just ahead. Fixed. That makes sense. Yeah. So I think there's there's multiple levels oh, to the dungeon. Oh, if you return sure. to the Grove of Megalith, the old gods will restore your health and hit points to max. This will only what? work once per game, so use oh. it wisely. Oh, okay. <laughs> You may also cast healing spells if you still have spell points. This spell requires intense concentration. You cannot be cast during battle. Oh, okay. Yep. So I did do use that to get some health back. But I should have gone back to the grove to... Oh, damn it. Exited it out. To get my second life, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, because you can only use it once per game. So now I would health it up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a little too late. I got that's in combat. Okay. But that's okay. I know where it is. I'm heading straight for it. And I've lost. Dungeon 2 is tougher than Dungeon 1. It is. It's more like you, you either do it or you don't. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of messing about in this one. Okay. Oh, almost. Come on. Come on. Oh, What? Is that not where I'm supposed to go? There you go. Did it move or maybe I... I think you just... I just didn't, didn't go the right way. I think everything's fixed. Because it's a lot harder to make randomness in the game. Because you have... Like, if you make a random land in the game, you have to store that random yeah. land somewhere. Which is not easy. It's not easy on a plain cartridge, 4K, no add-ons. Um, so this would be set, like... The dungeons would be set. Everything's exactly the same. So we could... There's my owl. Yay, owl. We could make a map. Now if, you need if to we, heal, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Again. God, you gotta be on it. You gotta be my navigator. Okay, I'm not even I'll, looking at my hit I points. Gotta, I'll, jump, I'll <laughs> jump on it again. But... Bam. Okay, good. And it's over. <gasps> a key. Oh. There's, oh, there's a, map a map on the, the back of the poster. Did I even look at the Pass me this poster. Pass it to me. You have to do it in the... There is? There is no map. There's no map. You mean you can draw a map on the back of the poster? <laughs> just just so you can you can see. <laughs> I'm just no kidding. Map. Oh, Al! <laughs> oh. You, oh, my God. But there's a space on the back. You could draw a map. Jumped on that like <sighs> an idiot. Yep. He sucked her, suckered us. It was good work. Yeah, it totally worked. Because I was like, I don't remember seeing a map. It's one of those uh, things where you have to like hold it under the flame and it reveals itself. That's right. We, we, 
There are no sounds whatsoever. Oh, maybe it's just like really, really, really low. Yeah, it's pretty quiet on there's our not, end. Too. There's not a lot of sound. Let me turn it up here too. Yeah, we'll see. It's how... just like little blips. I think I've it's been hearing. Oh, that's better. Oh, little... yeah, little clicks. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, Much that's better. way better. Sorry, thanks, everyone. guys. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna be on this. Don't worry. Five hit points. Oh my god. We need a way to heal, man. Like, uh, like better. I'm gonna heal. And I'm not even using my cast. That's the thing that's very funny about this thing. Maybe the warrior is a better. Yeah. At first I was like, warrior. Pfft. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, warrior. <laughs> exactly. Where's where it's at? Because with a warrior, your sword never gets damaged. Oh, yeah. With the wizard, you're going to run out of spell points. We haven't find, found anything to replenish them. No. So why would you choose the wizard when you can only do... Your spell like five well, times. Well, I guess one thing is is like we can so, essentially heal, right? Because can you not heal as a warrior? Well, this then? is the thing that's interesting because uh, you have no spell points, right? So the thing is is like ah, uh, that's true. See, if you were like the warrior only has fifteen health, but we have the potential of twenty four health, right? Right. But then spell points is only relegated to healing yourself. Yeah, like as a wizard, no, there's no way that we're using unless we can find a way to heal. Now I would heal right now. Oh god, yeah. All of it. Just I do guess. it. Just do the whole thing, cause that's that's what Is that we the need. Exit yeah, again? that's the exit. Damn it! I'm gonna. We're gonna have to make a map. Oh yeah. Cause it's not happening. And I'm down to three. Okay, hook me up with some materials. Let's get some paper out of the printer. And this cartography begins, yeah. friends. Okay. So hopefully the sound is a bit better now. I'll turn it up a bit more because it's only going about halfway. There, that's. I mean, it wouldn't be, be such a big deal if we weren't dying so bloody much. Like, <laughs> yes. There's got to be a way to heal, so man. Your pen, pen, and, and then some, you just need something to write on. I need on. a surface, and then we're gold and pony boy. <laughs> and we're gold. There is something to write on. So let me know if the sound is good now. It should be, yeah, it should be pretty good. One hit point, no spell points left. Rip. Yep. I see. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, Al. Okay. Okay. We're... Hold on, hold on. So main screen. Are we going to do this one too? Um... Yeah, might as well, I guess. Because so, we don't want to waste time getting hit. What are we looking at? I would make it the center. Yeah, the center. Maybe. What should we center, do for, top. Our, for our method? Maybe like a... Oh, I, hmm. I'm just going to do up and down. That might be easiest, right? Just do an X for where we begin. Yep, okay. Be, begin, and then we go up, right? Yep. Up. And then up. Okay. And then, <laughs> uh, and which then one? Left. Okay. Okay. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Left and dead end. <laughs> so that's okay. no good. Let right, right, and then we're going up. Up, up, you ran out of space, up. <laughs> oh God, okay. Left, oh God, the dungeon map is disaster. Left, <laughs> left, up. Okay, I'm gonna like do it again. Okay, give me a, give me a, give me a, oh, another piece of paper. Give you one. I'll, I'll oh, transcribe onto this, onto this There's character a bunch here. More. Now let's just do like the the one that we, we know where it's at. But we can. Let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Maybe there is some randomness to it. Now know. it says it's the same every time. So. Oh, does it? Okay. 
Let's get back to the... I'm gonna do Warrior this time. Okay. Up. Okay. Well, you know what, that What one. do you think is the best, like, way for this? That's not... I don't think that's no, a good map. No, it's not great. What, what should I do? Squares? I, I would just do walls. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, squares. It's hard, because it's like... Yeah, that's... Squares probably makes sense. Yeah. I would do squares. Okay. So, like, if you go back into the grove immediately after going out of the grove, did you do you waste your <laughs> healing? I hope not. Because <laughs> if you go like that, is it over? The the healing's done? Um, so it's... Yeah. It's, Let's see. I don't it's, know. It's difficult. I wouldn't do that. What's, it's a difficult one. What's, what, what method? Let me just... Let me try... Try here. Go there. Let me just start a map here. So, X for home. And then up. And then up. Okay. And then that's blocked. See, so that's kind of my. Oh, yeah. And thing. then to the right? Uh, it, The thing's to the left. Okay, but, so then yep. to the left. Okay, left. Okay. And your face. Take and then that. left. Oh, that's way so better. That's what I do. Then up. Up. Oh, that's open, I guess. Yeah. Yep, up. Okay, fight that dude. Oh, no. Rip. <laughs> and then dead. up. Okay. There you go. So that's where we're at. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, that, that makes complete sense. Okay. It's way better. And up. It's blocked on the left and right. Okay, got you. Up, blocked on the left and right. But what is this? Is this the cave? Cave. So, I don't see, you can put cave. There you go. Or you can draw a cave. Perfect. I'm all about this cave. Oh, so that's the direction? Has that always been the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I just messed up once, I think. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's start another map. Maybe a different page, yeah. Yeah, good. Because we don't know how big this is. So that's like the overland or... This is the Step one, friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be re this is a ruthless game already. Yeah. Start right in the middle. Yeah, right yep. in the middle. Mm. So cave. Okay. That's not... Yeah, that's not entirely accurate. Isn't it? Because this is the center. Can you go back? Yeah, because the cave is down from where I am, and that looks like a dead-end wall. Oh, okay. I can right. just do like an like an x there just to let us know that that's because this is the, the okay. origins okay so up wall wall in the left and right cool up okay i'm gonna go right okay right right so there's a path down I'm gonna go right again. So I want to try to find this owl. Okay. And then right again. Which is um oh yeah, it's just that. Okay. Up. Okay. Up. Okay. Up. Okay. Up. Okay. Up. Maybe the wizard is better because total the wizard has like 25 yeah hit points well the fairy also has like tons like the fairy <laughs> and then the fairy's immune to this shit oh my god okay i'm thinking the fairy is the best one <laughs> maybe it doesn't seem it as first but no but like when you actually examine the situation <laughs> you're like whoa so left oh yeah yeah okay left Left. Uh, yeah. Let's go up. Okay. Up. Okay. 
up. Okay. Left. Got it. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Down. Got you. Down. Okay. Down. Okay. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Down. Tedious. Fun times. Yeah, man. This is <laughs> this is dungeon two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm down. Just, I'm just I'm I'm already voting for dungeon one. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is Okay. Down. Okay. Maybe we've just had better luck with the warrior. We just haven't like fought anything. Uh, okay. fought we've done very well with the fighting actually, okay. so I think it's and down. Oh the owl. Okay. Owl. Okay, good. So the owl um owl is in the corner okay i guess i think it changes each time I'm i pretty think sure. so too it was not there before it was like up to the right so at least we'll know the layout of the land i guess okay right okay right okay um maybe right again yeah we'll join back up right yeah the warrior is really good at fighting yeah right Obviously. That totally makes sense. Okay. Right. Okay, hopefully this joins up. I should go down or to I the right? I should go to the right and see if this... Right. Let's go again. I'm just, I am just just want to know if, like... Right. Okay. okay. Are we messed we'll see up? It, well, no, we'll see if this joins Oops. up. Okay. <laughs> Oops. I should now hold it. Okay, so... So this... Go, go... That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Because that should only be two, one away. Go down. Let's see. Okay, so that's, that's like a, a dead, dead end. end. The other one... Does the other one connect up be. to... Yes. So that is drawn incorrectly. <sighs> Unfortunately. Well, it's tough. There's only so much I can do. Cause it's yeah, because like... from that, there's two over. I think. So that one, two. And that's only one. Well, um, well, it's tough because we're not that's like... That's a dead end. Okay, this one's a dead yeah. end. Yeah, that's two spaces down. Nope, it's two down. Well, it's tough because like we kind of... They're like either they're halfway because mm. each one is almost like one square. Because mm. if you notice, it's like they, they'll often um, go almost like part because it's like... Um, I think... No. It could be crazy. <laughs> Because now it's down. Mm hmm. So one, two. So that's a so dead there's end. There's three, three spaces beneath that. So it's a big loop. Yeah, and then. So let's go up and around. Well, at least we're getting the idea of this yeah. shape, at the very least. So and let's then go down past, past this past one. Past this one, see what happens here. Down one. Okay. Down another one. Cool. Down another one, and it's a dead and end. And it's a dead end. Okay. So it's three spaces down. Okay. And so it would be, then this one's the one to check out, so. Okay, we got that one. That one potentially down. So which it's is a dead, dead end. end. Yeah. I mean, how many... Okay, cool. Uh, it's one, two, two. Okay. And then there's another one that's down, which is our so actual. Yep, yeah, so there's one on either side. Is, is this the same dungeon that we've been in each so time? Dude, this is our dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> so that's so not so a very can, complicated dungeon. So oh. friends at home can see. A little closer. Woefully. Yeah, there you go. That's our dungeon. It's a very, very simple dungeon. Um... I'm going to see if that's the same each time. I'm going to go back in. Yeah, that is the same. Up. 
and see, kind of go to the top. Loop. Up. Oh, loop. Ah, running was Death. ineffective. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at this again. So total 28, total 25, 25 total 15. Oh, okay. sorry, 24, 25, Five. 15. So but the I guess the, the warrior has a better chance of like sort of, of hitting. killing everybody. Oh, okay. So this one is just maybe like... a secret door. Oh yeah, okay. Secret door. Could be. Oh, you just cast a spell. On purpose. Oh, not too bad. And up. It should be up all the way. Changes. Does it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that is uh, that is something. So the entrance to the dungeon changes. It's slightly different. Maybe the is it different for each of the characters? Is that the thing? That's possibly. Let's go back to the warrior and see if it's the same. To go to the left, and now you just go. Once you now go up, 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 and we'll see what happens. It is. That's why. Okay. So this is the warrior's map. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing this shit down. Yeah, warrior, warrior map. Warrior map. So let's start checking for secret passages. As per, per Wade Rain. Because I think that makes sense. Because what else is there? There's a key in the overworld. And the dungeon has one level. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, Key. And that's random. Yeah. Because that was not there before. That's right. Now you can go down. Check out down. It's going to be a dead end. But why not? Yeah. Nothing there. Fight this guy. Um, nothing. Warrior is not doing too bad. No. He's really good at fighting. And defending. Oh, not this time. <laughs> of course. As soon as I just, say it. Just gets the wrecked. The rules of video games... Don't get cocky Arrogance because you will not. get destroyed the first mention you say, oh, I'm doing really good. Or, yeah, the warrior always hits and never gets. Yeah, it's so good, you know. Yeah. Down to two, two hit points. And there's now. nothing you can do for help. No, not Maybe this. Maybe you get the key except and when the I go owl back. and go somewhere else, another key or castle. Yeah, I mean, that's very possible. Well, I'm going to go back out to heal. Because I'm going to die if I don't. I'm going to run. Come on. Go down, 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 oh. down. No, not all the way. Oh. Rip. <laughs> Go back in. Fight. Destroy. Wow, well, this is an RNG fest if there ever was one. So there's, there's just like no tactic look, at this key. point. Right away. Perfect. And you can so get this owl pretty soon too. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Maybe there's no owl in here. Maybe there's no owl at all. But at least I know the layout really, like it's super easy. The layout of the dungeon for the warrior. Yeah, it's not. And, not and there's... And there's nothing to... There's no secrets. I couldn't find anything pressing against the walls. Like, Basically, we just got to find some mistletoe and then go home. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, that's all there is. But how do you find the mistletoe? It did say it was in the dungeon? Let me pass me that thing. Let's... Uh, I don't have the instructions. Oh. Do I have instructions? It's, they're somewhere. I put them down somewhere. Nope. Nope. Oh, they're right here. They're right here. I got them. I got them. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Retrieve and return it to the grove of the megalith where you begin the game. Right. This will cause the sun to rise. Okay. The key of mist is a legendary mystical key that can open anything. You will need it to anything. gain entry to the temple of the crow. Oh. So this must not okay. be the temple of the okay. crow. Okay. This is just the first part. Get the key we in here. We got the key now. Okay. The temple of the crow. Let's, do you want me to... Back to the overworld? Yeah, do you want me to build, keep working on this map of yes. this world? Yes, please. Okay. Um, so there's the dungeon. So we go down to, and okay. then to the left. Yeah, let's see what happens if you go to the left. Okay. So 
one. Okay, one to the left again. Okay, left again. What's your map? No, we'll see, we'll that's see, incorrect. But see, there's the, two spots. But there's, it's, there's three total. But the issue is, is that if I draw a line, like you, you see what I mean? Where it's like. Each of those squares is a possible place for me to be in. And there's another possible, another possible. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it it's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's dead end anyway. Dead end anyway. Got to leave to deliver turkeys. Wade Rain. Bye bye, Wade. Rain. <laughs> I don't know if your first name is Wade, or if I have to say Wade Rain every time. It's difficult. Giving abbreviations to nicknames. I think I supposed to is correct about the key. I take it to the tower, and I did find a tower the last time. Yeah, that's right. We just gotta go do that. So where where are you at now? Um. Um, let's begin to the, let's go back to the beginning. Uh -huh. What did I just get? I think the owl was there. Oh, no, it was like a healing push. I didn't see it. It went too quickly. Um, we're back at the beginning. Yep, and then one up. left another one left then an open spot just little dots and up one and another one up and there's an opening to the right and up another one blocked off left and right yeah left and right and up another one open the left blocked on the right one block left and right up one block left and right and then the one above is, is the cave. It's the cave forgotten dreams cool. yes okay uh let's go to the left of that first opening cool another block top and bottom and left wade's handle handles on my display shows as wade rain if that helps okay cool yeah wade rain yeah mm. and then up Block left and right, up, block left, right, and up, dead end. Damn. But we know this game is random. Anything can be anywhere now. Well, it seems like it's the same, though, for... Same map. It's the same map for each character. Yeah. But different, different spots for things. Like, it's, this time, we went in the dungeon, the key was there. Immediately. Right in the first spot. Yeah. So we're going to go right... To the right? To the right, yeah. Did you Sorry. go to the right? I didn't. But I will be. Okay, cool. Go to the right. Block top and bottom. Cool. And block top and bottom. And on the right hand side is a thing. And can you go in it? Let's see. No. No. But can I press the button? No. So that is not the key for whatever that is. I'm just gonna call this a two because it looks like a two. Yeah. And, and is that in the manual? This is there, is there items in the manual? Not really. The manual is pretty, pretty <laughs> slim. <laughs> pretty slim on cool. helping you out. Okay. Now we're gonna go down cool. to the left. Let's try the left. Yeah. Blocked on top and bottom. And then blocked on the top bottom again and the left. Cool. Let's go down this time. Mm -hmm. Block left and right. And down, block left and right. Cool. And again, block to left and right. Then down, blocked bottom and left. Blocked top and bottom. And then top and bottom. And then there's an opening on the bottom, blocked on the top. I'm going to go down. We're just going to complete the maze as cool. we go, I think. Cool. Oh, it's a castle. Block left and right, and a castle on the bottom. Okay, so, cool. 
Let's see if this stone arc. How are you supposed to says that last one is? Hmm. Stone arc. Cool. So this is. Yep. I can go in the castle. So that is make a little castle-y thing. Now we're getting somewhere. Finished part one. Part one of Kay. Dungeon Two. Turns out the dungeon was only <laughs> it was the, nothing. It was, it was just just, just for the key. The first bit. Okay. So this is the warrior map overland. So I'll definitely label that. It's kind of interesting that they he made a different map for each of the characters. Maybe he did like level balancing. Maybe. So that it's harder or easier, or maybe just to give a different experience. So that you do have to do this for every guy. Okay, warrior map. Dungeon map. Okay, I'm ready to go with this map. Castle map. Have a good night, Splendid Nut. Thanks for hanging out. Have a Checking good night, out dude. Dungeon 2. Okay. Mm, yeah, start in the middle. It's probably safest. I'm a do a fresh. Piece. I'm a do a do fresh. Do do do. We're actually surviving with the warrior. Yeah. Whereas we weren't surviving very well with the spellcaster wizard. Yep. It was a lot harder with the wizard. Okay. Okay. Uh, going down. Seems to be yeah. Uh, open. <laughs> Zybot says to Splendid Nut, no time for sleep. Keep working Bring on your, your game. game. That's right. Get back to it. This one, yeah. Which so one? let's Which? just start left and then traverse. Kay. So left. Okay. Left. Top and bottom. Yeah. yeah top and bottom. Kay. Left. It's a corner. Okay. Down. Left. Right. Okay. Down. Left. Right. Oh, that's a that's a rabbit dude. Hold on, let's like check this guy out. Rabbit. I think that might be a rabbit. crow. Oh. There's, that looks like a goblin, if there ever was one. Unpleasant cave dwelling monster. Crows are the mastery arts. They seldom leave their well guarded temple. Okay, that's probably a crow, dude. Might be a crow. Yeah, look at this. That's definitely oh, a crow. Oh, yeah, it's got the orange and blue yep. going on. See how you do against a crow? Not well, I'm guessing. Fight? Dead. Oh, never mind. Okay, Kay. it's all good. So, down. Okay. Down. All the same. Okay. <laughs> down. Left and right. Cool. Down. Open okay. on the right. Down. Left and right. Down. Left and right. <gasps> what do you think? That looks like a mistletoe if I ever saw one. That looks mistletoe-y to me. Let's see if... Is that the thing? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the game, right? Yeah, okay. You bring so, it back. So now go back. Up. And I had pretty good hit points. Basically, like... Survive. Please, don't let me... Go up. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. So many crows. Okay, just go up until you can't go up anymore. And then go right. And now then up. Up. Hold on. Now let's go over to this map. Then yep. you go... Up and then to the left, and then up, and then to the right, and then uh, down. Fight this dude! Fight this dude! Dude, we Is just won! It? Yeah, that's it. Good work, James. Nice. Okay, it is a smaller game. Okay. Damn. Than Dungeon One. Definitely. But harder? Yeah, way like harder. Way hard. Not with the not with the knight though. The knight was like actually pretty easy. Yeah, the problem he just is... has the enough power. He has enough hitting power. Yeah, the owl is key for the other ones. Yeah, maybe you don't get the owl with the knight. Because I did I get encounter the owl? No, you didn't even Thank find you, the owl. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Oh god. Okay. So in this game. There's multiple people to play. Let's do so this. So you get the choice. Hand me over the, the thing. All the mappies. Okay, here's stuff. all the stuff. Here's all the tools. We'll start over. Okay, we'll so make... which character should we do? So this has a little bit of replay value. I'm gonna wizard it because that's yeah. Like... That's your guy. That's your dude. Yes. Okay, so hold on. Let me get 
this happening here. Okay, so this is wizard over land. I'll just say land. Wizard land. Wizard land. Good name for a game. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you're at you're at your starting spot. The grove, which I can you know come back to to get some health. Once, once. One reprieve. Okay. So you just let me know. So up. up. Okay. And then up. And it's like uh, up is blocked. I'm going to go right. Okay. Blocked. Up and down. Okay. Uh, blocked up and down. Yep. And then this is all directions I can go. Which one should I go? What do you recommend? I... Maybe down? I think the best way is to traverse the map by going along its edges so maybe go to so the right uh which is down because you've Actually, already discovered oh, I see. yeah right, so down you... okay okay it's a That's... block yep and then down okay because that way in a maze you're following all the walls down and you'll find every possible spot in the maze Cool. Okay, and now this is blocked on all sides except for the left. left. Got it. The left is up and down is blocked. Got it. Um, up and down is blocked. Got it. And now um, uh, only the up is blocked. Maybe I'll go down? Uh, yep. Let's find out. Okay, uh, left and right are blocked. Okay. Down. Okay, I found myself my castle, but I can't go into it yet. So that's where the castle is. Got went two down, right? Yes. Okay. One second. No problem. Castle. Okay, so you're back at the top there. Okay. Left. Left. Up and down. Okay. Uh, up and down. Okay. And then um uh uh down and left. Down and left is blocked. Okay. Uh, left and right is blocked. Okay. Left and right is blocked. I think I know what's going on here. <laughs> Left and right is blocked. Yeah. And then it is open from all three sides. All sides. Uh, okay, all sides, yep. Uh, maybe I should... Do you want to go to the right? Just yeah, to finish it? off that. Up yeah. and down is blocked. Okay. And up and down, up and down I'm is guessing. blocked. Okay, so you've done that whole loop now. And then let's go down. Oh, shit. I just <laughs> wasted, wasted it. Wasted. Rip. What are you, <laughs> well, you going to do? Yeah, that's okay. I'm suspecting I'll have to do this again. Okay, okay so I'm going to go so to the left, left. up yeah. and down. It's blocked. Yep. Uh, dead end. Oh, okay. Let's go up. Uh, left and right is blocked. Okay, this is similar to the last uh, one. Left and right. Uh, oh, left. Sorry, left is blocked. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll go up. up. Yep. Uh, left and right is blocked. Okay. Um, uh, only the right is blocked. Okay. I can go to the left? Yeah. Up and down is blocked. Okay. Um, up and down is blocked. Okay. Um, uh, bottom and left is blocked. Okay. Uh, left and right is blocked. Yeah. Uh, dead end. Okay. So let's go back. Bam, and bam, go the bam. up. Up. Uh, left and right is blocked. Okay. Left and right is blocked. Okay. Dead end. Oh no. Oh, that's where the castle is usually for the other one. Cool. Oh, so it's probably the, it's same, the same map. Yeah. Potentially, it's just like different locations. It is the same map. Okay. So you could almost do the map and just put like like where wizard, wizard cave. It's good. Um, and then the warrior cave, and yeah. Okay. So, so up and down is blocked. You just went in there. Okay. Yep. And then um, our weird Stonehenge. Anyone know yeah, what this what is? What is that? Nobody knows. That's kind of a... Couldn't go in there. Maybe it's just decoration. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. I'll show you where I am. Okay. I just, I know, I just bounced around, but I'll show you. Okay, I'm right there. Right now? Okay. Yeah, so which one do you think? Maybe right? Let's go right, yeah. Up and down is blocked. Okay. Dead end. Oh, no. I bet you somebody's <laughs> cave is one. here, though. Yeah, definitely. I think that would be the fairy's cave, probably. Yeah. Okay. You went up? Yeah, up and down is blocked. Yep. Up and down is blocked. Or left so it's left and right is yeah. blocked. 
uh, left and right is blocked. And then open uh, left and right up top is blocked. Okay. I'll go to the right. Okay. Safari, take that fairy. Oh, no. no. Um, left and sorry, left and right is blocked. Okay. And then like this one. Yep. Hold on. Oh, shit. And there's my, uh... Oh, uh, there's your cave. It's my cave. I think it doesn't matter what the other ones are, right? Or should I look for them anyways? And should we complete the map? Uh... Yeah, yeah we're so close. Yeah, we're so close. We got it one left. It feels like one crazy thing left. not to do it. Okay. Okay, so up and, and down is blocked. Okay. Um, um... Bottom and left is blocked. See, that makes sense to have the same maze to save uh, uh, time. Yeah, save but it's different room. locations. And left and yeah. But the right is blocked. Okay. And then this is a dead oh, end. Okay. okay, so I bet you some different caves are in different places. It, yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's go back to the cave. Or do you want to? Do you want to start over to give your best shot? Ah, it's okay. It? I'll die, and then we'll like. We'll just discover as we go. we'll go as we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm in the cave. The cave of forgotten dreams. Is there a cave? Uh, one second. Hold up. Bam. Okay. Okay. Cool. And then this one's like, uh, only the top is blocked. Okay. I'm going to go right, so this, up and this down. This is going to be the same. Yeah. <laughs> and right. And then, yeah. Yeah, Maybe. let's go down. It's going to be two yeah. and then a dead end, right? Yeah, it should go be down. down. Yeah. Okay, it's the same exact thing. Okay, where's the other And it's cave? totally Let's random it in the cave. Like, there's nothing that's set, so you don't really need to draw one for the caves. Yeah, and you, I'm just trying to explore and find some. Yeah, you're just looking for the key or the owl. Yeah, so this is just like... That's our basic dungeon map. I mean, not. it's not precise, because I didn't... No. Hey! Oh! Is got you got my, the owl? I got the owl. That's so handy. That's fun. Okay. Still need the key, which I don't know if it's a guarantee that the key is in here. Mm. Yep. Okay. I've done that part. Okay. How'd you go? Okay. Now, mm. show me this map. I think mm -hmm. I remember it. Basically, down, 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 down. Mm -hmm. down, down. In your face, wolf. Okay, I'm gonna get messed <laughs> oh, no. up when I when I fight these crows. Oh yeah, because you are already used your bonus, right? Yep. This is where it'd be nice to have the bonus, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. where it should have been. Yeah. Okay. Um. So and now this... we can. It's gonna be the same. Right. Yeah. It is. Dungeon map. That did two? No, no, I was just messing around. That was like the not good one. What did you call it? That's overland. Let's see. Where did it go? <laughs> I swear to God, we made it. The second one? Yeah. Didn't we? Let's look and see. So these are the wizards that I drew. Okay. That's the dungeon. Yeah, flip it around and see. Okay. That's the old way. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, that was one that was like a not... Overlay. Nothing. Where did our paper? Maybe it was this. 
like it's oh yeah uh, and, and like we found it like there i think yeah and we okay. just exited out so how all there you go take that fairy i didn't even see any fairies in my maybe there aren't fairies because there isn't an owl in the warrior oh this is is it different yeah it must be different take that fairy oh, oh yeah. boy yeah, oh boy and you're dead and you're dead but oh no <laughs> okay okay so let's do the efficient route yeah. and then do the power up before you go in that's right so oh it's up right up right oh up 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 blue wizard is about to die that's right blue wizard needs food badly Hold on, that's uh, <laughs> Gauntlet Legends. Well, all Gauntlets, but all yeah, gauntlets, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. Wizard. <laughs> about yeah, you're right. Oh, what did Are I we do? We all messed up. What is happening? Confused. So am I. Guys, some mistakes were made. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe. I don't think he did make mistakes in the navigation here. Down should be... No, that's Kay. right. Okay. Okay, so like... To the right. To the right. All the way. And then, and then up, up all the way. Okay, I'm probably just... That same seems right. And then... I swear you went the right way. And then, then to right. The right. Twice. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, so it changes the actual location. Every game. It's like the map doesn't change, but the actual location oh, of the thing changes. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So that means we just have a master map, and we know, like, the possible locations. So here we go. Okay. So that's another possible location? Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, we don't even need to. That, we can just have all the dead ends, right? That seems like it's always there. Yeah, but that one's always there. I'm going to draw another cave. Okay. And there was a cave there, too, in one game. Okay, interesting. So there is randomness no matter what character you pick. That's good. Okay, that we got is ourselves good. a key. I really want that owl, dude. Oh, yeah, you need the owl. Because that completely defends you against a whole array, array of, or well, a class of enemies. Uh, I think I remember enemies. this one pretty well. Mm-hmm. Might, I might have to go outside to find it, though. Yeah. The owl? Yeah. Oh. Because it's random, right? Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. So many fights. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Keep I, getting I got in fights. Lucky. Okay. Now. Okay. I think I know what's up. I'm going to go to the right. Let's we'll see what... Mm, the dead end? Yeah, because maybe yeah. my owl's there. Could be. Yeah, that would have been ha handy to have the owl there. Now, I believe this is where we start. Yeah. Yep. I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time. No, don't get that too early. Okay, we'll do. Oh, there hey, you go. Okay, owl. so that. What do you What do you think? Should I uh, heal up, or should maybe? No, I should go into the thing and try to find it because I got enough health to survive. Or uh, yeah, and then back out. Yeah. Just in case. We'll see. Like, I mean. That might be a mistake, but... So that's always in the same place. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like... Proceed with caution. What do you think? Should I just... Should I cast a spell on this one? Oh, what is the... It takes two, and it's got the best chance of killing it. Oh, I would do it then. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Because they're somewhat tough. They have hit points four... That's working. And the cast does three to six points per hit, That's but right. it does an automatic hit. Okay, I'm thinking I should uh, maybe go back and get my stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get my stuff. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you have no spell points. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. We're not. We're pretty close. Yep. So now, uh, yeah, I just gotta go. Up and around. One way or the other. I know what's going on. So, one more battle. Ooh, no! Rip. One more hit. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Back to full. Okay. I, I live on the edge, friends. <laughs> oh yeah, right live on the on edge. on the edge. Okay. So now with this one, you just gotta look for it. You just gotta look everywhere. I mean, you could make a map, but... Oh god, okay. Let me look up the fighting for the wizard. Basically, we just gotta find this mistletoe. The owl is the best attack against these fairies, though, dude, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's automatic kill. Like, automatic hit, and it always does enough to kill them. <gasps> is that in the same spot? It was the same spot. I think so. Yeah. Okay. In your face. Okay, you can do it. You can do it! Just have to make it out. Come on. You got lots of hit points and spell. Well, not lots, but enough. Oh, my God. A decent amount. And I have to fight your way out. Whoa. You could run. Leave? You could run. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fight. Okay. Okay. Up and around, and you did it. No. No. Yes. No. no. Hey. Okay. Defeated with the wizard. <sighs> okay. What's One more. What? Do we do the fairy? Do we yep. do it? Okay. Gotta do it. You want to trade off again? Yeah, sure. You ferry it up. Okay, so what is the ferry about? The ferry is about... Pass it to me. I'll tell you all about this ferry. You go yeah. search for one of these. Busy look for dead ends. Yeah. Okay. Ferry against ferry. So you're immune to drain attacks? Oh. Thanks, thanks, Al. Yay. And good night, Zybot. Good night. Thanks for hanging out for two out of three. We're almost there. We got Here, all the tools at our disposal we now. Immune to drain attacks? Oh, spell drain attacks. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, like, there you go. Key. The key. We, well, you want to find the owl. So, mm. the owl could be anywhere. Yeah. So, basically, Maybe. now you're going to die, dude. So, heal. Oh, you can only get up to 10. Yes. Max. Should I be casting? No. no. It's not worth it. Because you'll just lose all your spell points. That's right. You should. It's, it's worth it for when you're fighting those, like... Uh, rabbits at the end. Yeah. Rabbits. <laughs> the crows. Crows. They look like rabbits. Go down. Yeah. Right. Just to make sure, like, check all the nooks and crannies. Oh. oh, and death becomes Rip. me. Oh, good. I can restart. Easy. And it's in a different spot. Yep. I think. Now try the right. See if it's there. <gasps> Owl. Well, that's just a good thing right away to get. Yeah. And key. What? I didn't even need to go into okay, the dungeon. Okay, so just like go down, down to the dungeon then. Yeah, take that. It's called some RNGs. In oh our favor. yeah. So owl. Now I'm gonna defeat this game in like a minute. Uh, don't be so cocky. <laughs> um, no cast. You really. Oh okay. Yeah. That's no, not there. That's where it was. Not actually. It was like down. Around, down and around. Down and into your like your left. You might want to consider healing. And yeah, there you go. Yeah. And now you're going to want to definitely think hard about potentially... Um, Getting uh, out? Yeah, because at this point you're kind of on the edge because you still have to make it out, right? Yeah, maybe I should go out. That's what I would do. Now I would cast because you don't want to fuck with these guys. I'm going to run. Or not. Oh, no. Run. You're already, you're already committed. Done. 
Damn. Rip. What See, a good start. Fairy's hard, man. Yeah. That is definitely the hardest of all of them to... Because, yeah, because we do. But you, but you just have to play it safe, man. Yeah. You do exactly. Well, I think running is probably not a good idea ever. No. Because if you, if, you, if you miss... You can kill them with one hit. Anything, just That's about. the thing. So you may as well toss that RNG. Yeah. Because, like... Because then if you fail to run... They're going to hit you. That's right. I think they probably have a higher chance of hitting you because you're vulnerable. You're not defending yeah. or anything. No, nothing. You're a good so, fairy. Yeah. Fighting the good fight. Uh, let's go here. No. Oh, oops. Oh, it worked. You worked. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Accidentally did that. Okay. Oh, my health points are down already. Nothing. So weak. Very so weak. Yeah, the warrior was... There you go, got the owl. That'll help me a little bit now. Now Good. go... Oh, it's up to you. Where am I? You are... Like, to give you an idea, you're in the top... Yeah. So, like, um, I'll show you where you are on this map. Let me get the wizard map out. So, like, you are right here. Oh, so, so you the could, furthest so spot. On, so, honestly, actually, it's technically to the down. right is a little bit better. Yeah. Damn it. Damn! Oh! Just, they just kill you, these guys. So much hurt. Very so vulnerable. Key. Bam. Good. Uh, okay, let's the overworld. Okay, so I'm up there. So, should I get the owl or just I go would, for it? I do owl. Um, oh, uh, uh, owl is good so though because much. the thing about the owl, I mean, actually, hold on, hold on. There is something to be said about in terms of tactics because the only reason why you don't want to fight the owl, the the fairies or the dark fairies, is because um, they'll drain your spell and then but they can't on me. Exactly. So I might just go straight. I would just yeah. push. I just push to the dungeon actually. I think so. Because especially if you're if you're that much more vulnerable and you have more time to explore the dungeon. Yep. I think so. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because fight. Uh, no, yeah. Ah. Ow. Nothing. I'm almost out of. So I would highly consider um, just got the missile. Go for it, but you're gonna be like bombarded now. Yeah. And you don't have any uh, stuff. Oh, but... wrong way. Okay, fight for sure. I do have a okay. I have full hit points, like li literally. So you just gotta get out of here, and you're good. Yeah, cast. Yeah. <sighs> fight. So, one hit does five. Whew, okay. okay. You just you just gotta Up and around. RNG. Oh, no, is come not on. It's not on our side. Come on, I'm five steps away. No. Hold on. Keep going. It's up to you. Well, you can. I, I you have can to fight. We can fight. Yeah. Or you could run because it's one of those things where I don't know which one has a better chance. <laughs> Because in this circumstance, if you take any hits, you're dead. Yeah. So, and these, how many, how much wolves have three hit points? Yeah. And do one to three damage, they're guaranteed to kill you. Uh, so. Definitely guaranteed to kill me. So, um. How many hits can I do? Um, you can do essentially, uh, two to five. So, it's a toss of the dice no so matter what. I may what. not even kill them. You might not hit. even kill them, or you might, I would run, honestly. Rip. Yeah. Damn it! So close. 
Uh, okay, so that's a good tactic, though. If you get the key, just go just, for it. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's not terrible to have the owl. Yep. And the owl is nice because it's like an insta kill for any fairies you need. It is. That's a good start. Oh, uh, yeah. Very close, Al. Very close. Now I've got the owl, and now it's going to be a, a fight to get the key. That's right. But it's okay, because remember, you do have the heal that you can do. That's right. Did, did I, even, I didn't use the heal last game, because I was full, pretty much. I was doing right. so well. Yeah, it I would, couldn't. It wouldn't even do anything. Well, it was one of those things where probably you got a little cocky because you probably yeah. could should have gone back and rather I got than a little down rather yeah. than push through because like it, you're just so vulnerable inside that. Now I would um, heal right now. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, the fairy's so weak that keeping her hit points up that's, as much as key. possible. Oh my god. I think the chance to hit the fairy is pretty high in comparison to... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, don't worry. You can even f heal yourself fully because you're for sure going go to the, go to the grove. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's that one. Yes. Okay. It's down. And it's... Owl right up. Nice. Oh. Grove, for yep, sure. For sure, do it. Okay, back at full. Yep. And now I'll push into the thing and try to find the mistletoe. Now this is just like you know. I'm at full. I'm at the best spot That's I can right. be. Oh no, that was a waste. It's a waste. Owl. Get out of here. Please just give me all fairies. Nothing. Nothing. Danger rabbit. Oh my god, my hit points. Cast? That's, all you, that's the only on. option. You just gotta push through. Come on. Oh, there's so I might fight deadly. at this point. Yeah. Because you need that, because the fireball has a chance to sort of do it once. Now I would for sure cast, yeah. No, you gotta fight. There's nothing you can do. Yep. Up, 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 up. Okay. That's all you can do. Ow, yeah. Now it's tough. You always end up facing down those fuckers. Damn it. Yep. Tries. Dead. Dead. Oh my god. Oh, the fairy's so hard. The fairy's the hardest. <sighs> okay. One more go at the fairy. Take that, dark fairy. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I should be you should always check out these. the dead ends because they always have a chance to. Mm -hmm. To be the owls. Yeah, now push into the dungeon. out and heal up nothing stop it oh my god they're so powerful the crows now i would go back and heal if i were you yeah because you're on the edge right if you're gonna push through yeah Ugh, i don't know oh because because you've got a full thing but you need to be able to cast to fight these guys true okay Fairies. Oh my god. Doing lucky, luckily, very well with the fighting. Oh, she's just hammering on him. Yep. Hammering. Wow. Why can't I do that well in other times? I know, it's when you actually need <laughs> oh, it. Oh, damn it. Oh, you got it. It worked. 
<laughs> Friggin' wolf, man. Oh. oh my god, doing so well. Now I'd heal up. Yeah. It's an RNG fest, this it's, game. You just, it is. It's just, you just... Don't know what you're gonna get. Ugh, blocking my way all the way. It doesn't reset. Oh yeah. Do you think the? I don't think the dungeon would reset each time. Okay, I have a chance. A chance. Because it's not far to the entrance. Oh, they throw it at you, don't they? They do when you get the th mistletoe, and it makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna put it all in my point. Oh, it's tough though because like um. Okay, you're good. Got everything. Come on. I'm so Wolves. I'm so stressed out right now. Oh, me too. Oh my God. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. I'm two steps away. What happened? Oh, do you need the owl to win? What? Hold on. I, what happened? Where's my Oh, they take it. Oh, yeah, the fairies take it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, so that's where we definitely need the owl. So we oh, thought we were we thought we were doing really well. Being clever. Yeah, there's nothing clever. <laughs> so do they just deposit it randomly, or are they going to put it back in the exact same spot? Back to the same spot. Oh, I'm not going to find out, am I? Oh, nice little robot face. No, it's random. Rent. Okay, now they're going to throw a fairy at me. It's, gonna, it's impossible. Is it? It is impossible to make it. It's, it's gone. No, it's not gone. You just... Now it's gone. Now it's and, now gone. and I'm dead. The owl's key to yep. this operation. You cannot we thought without the owl. Well, then there's no point in playing the fairy. The fairy's <laughs> just the hardest character of all time. Yeah, we definitely f played it in the right order. Yeah. Where you play warrior, the warrior. mage... Fairy. Fairy. Yeah, fairy is definitely the hardest. So that is still up there for being defeated with the fairy. But now we know what you have to do. That's right. But it involves you being we, in the we game beat the longer. Game. We beat the game twice. Two out of three. On the yeah. easy and medium level. Yeah, the hard, the hard level is still... It is hard, but just the random factor. Oh, man. I it have... Just, um, I'll give, I'll, take you back. I'll give you back all your, yeah. your items. The random factor is really, really random. It is brutal. But good good game. Fun game, yeah. I mean, even in the small form factor that it is, as opposed to Dungeon 1, usually the second, the sequels are bigger. Yeah, but this, this, is, all, this is smaller and different. It's like a completely different thing, you it, know. It compacts it down to its bare elements and when you learn the map it's like you know and it is crazy because you can just like it is an rng type game it's like you yeah. just you're just fighting the dice <laughs> every like everything because you could literally like oh owl key <laughs> down mistletoe done yeah. You yeah. Could, it, it, it's possible or you could literally fight go. your way all the way and just and like only at the very last minute find something that's a cool game yeah, yeah, really, really good for its size. Like, 4K is like this one of the smallest game sizes usually made for the 2600. And the, the amount of colors and it still has the sound and the size of the map and the yeah. random elements to it. It is, it's actually a really big accomplishment to fit this game into that small. Because so if I showed you other 4k games It'd be like blip. <laughs> yeah it'd be like blip blip and there's blocks moving around the screen and and that's all there is <laughs> like really rough stuff so this is a massive massive accomplishment to be able to fit this into wow. 4k so big uh, big shout out to david weevil <laughs> david david weevil for making both those games yeah those in are both extremes i really like both of these these yeah. are these are pretty amazing I'm gonna s I'm gonna go towards the other one. Same. A little bit more dungeon one. 
just because it's a bigger world. Well, there's like multiple like items, and there's like the Excalibur sword, and then there's yeah. like the dragon tooth, <laughs> and there's hidden yeah. walls, and like yeah. and you can level up. I like being able to level up, and there's a chance of like finding like yeah. like treasure, and you can farm, so you don't you know it's, it feels yeah. a little more like a it's dungeon full. crawler. Yeah. Versus this is more like, um, I feel like I'm More playing arcade-y. Snakes and Ladders. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where in Snakes and Ladders, it's like you're just tossing the <laughs> dice and you're like, you're did, open. I, did I get it? Okay, <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, I'm now I'm on the snake. Okay, ladder. Yeah. Like, it just feels like you're kind of, you're really, I don't know what you could do tactics-wise in this game. I mean, once we you... We found a, a bit. Well, learning the maps a, is, key, is key. But yeah. then everything else is really just random. Because it's it like, you, once you know the dead ends, and then and when where you... Where things are... Yeah. Like you can be more efficient, but that to almost point, doesn't matter. It's to like a point. Some you can't be efficient. You have to start looking at all the spots, and you have to get there. You have to get back. That's right. Um. So the and dice no, control your fate. And there's really. no cutting corners. No, no, there isn't. We thought we won with the owl. <laughs> we lost. Yeah, we thought we were being clever. It's like the video it uh, cut out for me. Oh, what? Oh no, it's in the red. So you can still hear us? My internet is taking a crap right now. Oh, no. <clears throat> so I apologize. At least it made it through most the of the game. <clears throat> but uh, usually you can hear me, hear us still. Yes. <clears throat> so, yeah, oh, the internet's really bad. Yeah. It's really, really bad. I don't know what's going on. Such, well, we're, we're subject to the ISP at the whim of it. Uh, okay, so, well, sorry. In, we'll we'll I'm at troubles here. We're gonna type it in. So this will be in the archives for sure. At least anyway, um, it's kind of going up and down between poor to terrible yes. right now. It's Hopefully, n- you have a poor connection. Yeah, not, not the terrible. terrible. Oh, it's down to zero. It's never in the yellow or green. It's always in the red. Oh, I made it to orange. Okay, that's good. <laughs> kind of good small really. victories. Um, so it, it's time to wrap it up anyway. Let me just do a quick overview of what we're going to do next episode on the 23rd on the Friday. We're going to play a new game, Castle of the Cryptid, uh, which is a very early work in progress. We're going to catch up with Aardvark, um, do a quick look at Wizard of War, maybe. Cool. Um... And we're going to play Scramble, boxed version of Scramble, which we have not played before. Um, so that's going to be some fun. And don't know what we're doing next Wednesday, so that's a mystery. Okay, oh. cool. Oh. And uh, and then the next Friday, we're going to be competing for high scores for November's game of the month, homebrew of the month, uh, Juno 1st, which cool. is a shoot 'em up Damn. Yeah, so... And I might have to miss the Wednesday after that because I'll be teaching at Van Arts. Oh. So not the next Wednesday, but the Wednesday the one after. after. Okay. That sounds okay. That gives a sense. But yeah. not next week, I'm we'll for have, sure here. We'll have Tanya fill in for that one. Okay, right? cool. Awesome. Um, so that is it for this week. Thanks for hanging out and uh, playing through Dungeon 2 with us. <laughs> Two out of three. I think we did pretty good. I think we did very well. And we figured out the game, figured out the tactics. You got a sense of it. Yeah. We home. know what to do. On the hard level, it's just doing. It I was ready to give up at a certain point. I was <laughs> like, when we were drawing these maps, I was like, oh. I know. And then, but then once we f- sort of figured the pattern out, and there was that shift, I was like, okay, we got this. Then but there was. Then it's back to the gameplay. There was a critical yeah. point though where I was like, oh, this is rough. Oh, this oh, is yeah, a slog. Especially for the show. Yeah. For the show, I was like, oh no. But now, but then we we figured it out. And, yeah, and it's we, tough with. With these types of games. I when love you, these wh- games, but... Yeah, it's a different type of game than just shooting ships yeah. up in the sky or I still, jumping over stuff. My favorite was when you said you did it on your own and you had zero viewers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One point. episode early on, I did uh, a, a, like a... You did a RP- solo show. A solo and RPG, RPG. And it was like, <laughs> it dropped down to zero viewers, which is not surprising. At that point, you're like, why am I doing a show? Because at some points, I'm just like... <laughs> like i'm not even looking at the camera i'm not looking at the game <laughs> they tune in they're just like okay. i'm just drawing things like rip <laughs> yeah oh, it's terrible and it's hot in here because i had to kick out the cat <laughs> yeah it's a disaster <sighs> oh. 
But that's it for Zero Page Homebrew this week. Thanks for tuning in. And lots of fun things to come. Um, still working on getting the, the Uno cart, the first game. But it doesn't work happily with my modified Sixer. I could play it with a non-modified one, but it's like oh, fuzzy and terrible. So we're still working on that because why not get it working on every system? And I'm sure the, the developer wants it working on every yeah. system too, not some systems. Yeah. So we're still working on that. Um, interview with Al coming out hopefully Friday um, or sometime shortly after because I'm going to have some time tomorrow to work on that and get that done. I've got it all edited. I just need some B-roll. And Perfect. Then it's out the door. Everybody can see what Al has to say. And thank you so much for Al for tuning in. Yeah. I know he doesn't have uh, a lot of time sometimes to tune in. So. Yeah, and I also know that. Uh, oh, we're on yellow and green. Oh, we're green, but oh. we're back. We're orange. orange we're red. red. We're oh. Yellow. We're Better. Green. It's not we're all orange. red all the time, at least. We're yellow. We're red. Okay. It's, it's in the better range now. We're a sine wave. We're just... Yeah. I'll, I'll reset my modem and get that and going again. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. I think that's the wrap-up. And uh, if anybody else out there has suggestions for games that they want, me, want us to cover on the show that we haven't played yet, or maybe there's been a massive improvement in a game we have played because they've been working on it, let us know, drop it in, you know, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or Atari Age forums and uh, let me know so we can include it in the show and uh, check it out and show everyone. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on Friday at 6 p.m. and Tanya will be joining me there. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah, Aaron will be with us next week. That's so right. see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. We're out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Play the outro music, which we don't have. No outro music. Ca copyright. <laughs> copyright. Jurassic 2008. Park. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Okay. Bye.